we go. So apparently the last time we fought this guy, I, we didn't get the trophy that was on him because I accidentally looted the wrong corpse, I think. So <laughs> here we go. We do have the VUCA brawler head now, some animal fur, and a legendary guillotine axe. All right, good deal. And we can get the VUCAR blessing right here as we set out on our mission today, which is to basically pick up where we left off last time in heading east although i don't know that this is the best direction I've, I've died a lot of times over here so we're gonna go back to i believe it was called the the gates to the pillars of creation or precisely the gates to the pillars of creation we've just got a long way to go to get there so i'll meet you there okay here it is and i am glad that i came here at nighttime because it looks way cooler doesn't it okay so we've got uh, lava for sure we should be allowed to pass through here now it is shroud though i'm not wearing the fancy heavy armor that like decreases my shroud timer but uh we're still kind of on the clock here i think i might be wearing a couple pieces of it okay level 16 bugs so i think we're pretty much matched with the enemies now things were getting a little bit easy in some of the parts of the area that we came from but uh i'm expecting more formidable foes here in the near future and there might be some puzzles to go through to get to the other side. Okay, we do have some of these, like, urns and things like that. And, um, my fellow Embervale Flameborn. <laughs> I have always been suggesting that I break these apart. I always do, it's just most of the time you don't find much, if anything, in them. So, pretty much just kind of skip over it sometimes. I'm pulling tin bars out now, so it might be worth my time. Holy crap, man. This place is huge. What is... What was going on here anyway okay little encampment here in the inner sanctum i see give me a torch out so i can see what's going on around here and we have the option i think of just sleeping through the night i don't know man i think this is a fun place to explore at night honestly is this some kind of like a ritual site or a mine or what was going on here strange structure yes uh, i'm not the only person who is confused by this Okay, Caspian here is writing about how the Pillars of Creation are an active volcano, and also that the strange structure we were just looking at could perhaps be a place of prayer and solace, but there was another group of people, Eastern folk, led by Nala, that believed it could be a gateway of some kind. Hmm, okay, so I have a feeling that this is not going to be the last time we see the strange structure here at the Pillars of Creation. I want to get access to more building materials. I do want to do some more base building, and I've been working on the garden and stuff, but I need access to some new materials to do some trim work and such. Oh, right, the rolling fireballs. Okay, we're gonna go this way, and then we're gonna hook a right here. Okay, that's not too bad. You know what we really need, though, is not building materials, it's better tools. Man, my tools are so fragile these days. Loot chest here, shepherd's staff, nice. Oh, I just gathered up some bronze bars there and unlocked bronze jug and a bunch of other things at the blacksmith, as well as stone door and some more things at the carpenter. Oh, cool. Yes, and um, some alchemist stuff. Okay, we're unlocking stuff all over the place here. Lucky me. A bronze block as well. We just keep rolling in. Yes, break, oh, bronze arrows as well. Break everything, take it all. Oh my, oh, I see what that area down there is for. It's to catch you if you fall off of this thing here. We don't need that thing. We, we got wings. Oh, I just found fossilized bone and that's unlocking a whole bunch of things now. I did check the flame altar to see what I needed next and, um, First of all, there's some kind of a new boss that we're gonna have to fight at some point to get the head off of it. But we're also gonna need some things like fossilized bone and a bunch of other things that sound deserty to me. So I think going to the desert is the next thing for us. Okay, I'm not sure where I'm supposed to go now. Yeah, this door here is locked and I don't see like the buttons at the top that usually indicate that there's, um, you know, you gotta push, oh, this way, <laughs> my bad. We're going cross country, so to speak. Whoop, oh, that, wah, whoa, okay, okay, hang on a second, that, that was dangerous, that didn't work out. Oh, I gotta go all the way around, shoot. There we go, works better that time. Ooh, ancient obelisk here. Energy welling from deep inside the core, a light erupts, breaching the boundaries of space itself. A door to be opened by the flame touched. The brightest of sparks will walk a path lined by fire and illuminate what is shrouded in shadow. 
Never let the stars be extinguished, never douse the sun. Rise above all, a legacy to last an eternity. Jeez, okay, there there are just caves everywhere. There's a cave that goes, that road right there is leading to a cave tunnel. There's one over there, there's one over there. And if you look way down below, there's one down there as well. I went down that one briefly and um, I turned around because it was just like a long road, but man, we have a lot of places to start exploring up here. This is the research cam. What do they got inside the box here? <gasps> the masonry tools, yes, that's exactly what we're out here for. Oh, perfect. Okay, so that should have unlocked a bunch of things over at the blacksmith. Yes, refined stone block. Oh, wow. We're gonna have so many like building materials and options to go through when we get back home. Not to mention just the loot to go through here. Antiseptic, oh my goodness. We got like first aid stuff now, like real first aid, not just red potions. Now this is just talking about some drama between Nala and Caspian, the people that were researching this place originally. Oh, acid bite. Oh, so you can do an acid attack just like the the, the matrons and the loot here is actually really good. Alchemical base and there are like sterilized bandages here and there and really good potions. I don't use potions enough. I need to put some of those in the hot bar so we can start using them. Okay, so this is the exit to the cave. That's the highest elevation I could get to. This should give us some kind of a vantage point. New vegetation. Yes, yes, okay. We're definitely in a new, entirely new biome. We've got new plants. We've got indigo. Collect up all of this stuff that I can find. Oh no, sorry, that was sage. Sage and indigo look a lot alike, but that's entirely new to me. And oh my goodness. Oh, is this just like a high elevation plateau, this whole, this whole thing here, this whole biome? Yeah, that first cave I went to went to that over there. That's the caravan camp. We have to go down there and explore at some point. Oh, hello there, native wildlife. Who's that? I was expecting wide open deserts, but what I get instead are caves and things like, oh, cave passages, I guess. All right, I really, I don't have any idea where I should be going. So I guess we're gonna go back into the cave. I get the sense that we're going into a VUCA area. Who's over here? Oh yeah, some VUCA, right? You VUCA? Yes. Ooh. Level 18 Vukas. Whoa! He's got friends. Look out. Try not to get backstabbed. There we go. Oh, these ones have special feathers. Oh, well, that's cool. Oh, man. This place is going to be terrible. Oh, what happened to this guy? This, this place is going to be very difficult to adequately explore. There was some kind of a battle here, though. Some of these guys are dead. There's a Vuka Brawler here as well. Okay, we'll get to him in just a second. Oh, I just picked up some eggs. We can make boiled eggs. Are there chickens as well? Where's the brawler though? Oh, there he is. Okay, this is gonna be a probably a stronger brawler than what we're used to. Hold on, hold on. Let's get the power-ups going. Some popcorn, some meat, take some more corn, take the mysterious flask. Okay, where's, oh, there's the Vuka Blessing over there, the Vukar. Yes, if I can run over and get the Vukar bonus, that's one extra little, you know, thing to help out a little bit, right? All right, big man. We've already gotten warmed up on you once today. Shouldn't be too much of an issue here, except he does have like actual minions that can do damage, not just the healer shaman types. Just trying to get around to his little behind and then when he does this, you do the same thing. Run, hit him in the butt. <laughs> and then clear out, because he's clearly angered. All right, he's almost down. He's making the mistake of trying to hide. Ain't gonna work, buddy. Whoa, my sword broke. What a terrible time for this. And we're gonna go in for the kill, even though we're completely out of stamina. Come on, go, 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 go. Got it, and a level up. Nice, and I get another one of the heads as well. And, oh, a new mace. Cool, level 18. Oh, we got bird meat as well. They're, yeah, they're chicken soup at the farmer. There has got to be some chickens around here somewhere. I just wonder if I can bring them home with me. And I guess take your pick on where we go from here. Just a massive network of caves and tunnels and random rooms. Okay, well, after all of my adventure today, it looks like it's going to spit me out and I could probably spend all day 
going through all of those caves to make sure it's fully cleared, but we got the brawler. So I'm going to assume that that was probably one of, if not the most important things to do in here. But I yearn for wide open spaces and a good view, which it looks like we have one coming up. Who are these guys? Like saber tooth cats or something? All right. We're gonna be eating good tonight. Maybe get a new type of meat. I mean, we've got the chicken. What do these guys have? A raw game. Okay, so same as, whoops, we are completely encumbered now. Hopefully, um, maybe we should teleport back home, actually. What do we got out here? Let's take a look over the edge. Oh, okay, yeah, that's, that's home direction over there. Yeah, I'm very tempted to set down a flame altar and, um, just jet back home for a quick little refresher. All right, we got the masonry tools down here for Oswald. Oh, he can do all the fancy bronze dishes. Oh, we're gonna have to redecorate the place after we do extensive copper mining, I'm sure. Okay, so that has given us access to the mace-like club. The mace-like club, I mean, I, a mace is like a club to begin with, I think, anyway. Oh, and we did get the bronze pickaxe. Okay, and the bronze ax. Okay, so we can upgrade our tools, maybe, before we head back out, I can get the, oh, wait a minute. Can I not get the ax or the smithing tools? Oh, oh my bad. Are these the masonry tools? Oh, is that for the carpenter then? I got my tools mixed up, my bad. Okay, sorry, these belong to this guy, I think, maybe. Can you do anything special now? Oh, stone sink. Oh, nice copper bathtub. A tanning station, sure, I'll go find it. The almanac of plants and seedlings. Balthazar, what the heck do you want? A black cauldron, put it on the list, buddy. And uh, hunter from the nomad highlands. Sure, okay, we'll go grab that as well. Oh, we're unlocking some recipes here. Flatbread at the oven. Man, there's like extensive cooking and stuff as well. Now, what do you want? About Ikora, some kind of a potion brewer. Okay, maybe I'll stumble across her path at some point. Is that it? Does anybody else have anything that they need before I leave? I think we're all good. So I discovered that I can make farm soil in the seedling bench over there. And so I made some farm soil and I laid it in over here. Apparently it makes crops grow faster. A healthy soil that will increase the growing speed of most plants. Which is good, because things kind of take forever to grow. Oh, we can now craft the Extraordinary Glider. We need more alchemical base and leather. Ooh, a large backpack. That requires leather as well. Okay, so we are on the hunt for leather. Oh, okay, some like legit archer gear here. We've got the sharpshooters set and the hunter set. Oh, this is so much cooler than the stupid leafy elf set that I had earlier. Fancy new carpets, requires leather, new trophies. Ooh, we can get the VUCA Brawler trophy. We'll grab that one. And, oh, isn't it so cool that you can bake the trophies into like this epic bronze statue? Oh, this guy is humongous. Hang on a second. Where, where are we gonna put this? I guess we'll put it directly out front. And then once I'm comfortable with the building materials, like the new stuff that I can unlock, I'll do a big pass on the base. And um, I want to put some kind of a centerpiece here and use some of the luminous block material to make like a nice, yeah, kind of like a pendant, I guess, for that spot up there. And I don't know if I showed you guys, but I did end up fixing how the uh, the sides of the wall here were poking through. If I can just, um, oh, it's difficult to to show you, but um, basically I just put roof blocks instead of wall blocks where it kind of flushes up to the rooftop and then it that allows it to not poke through the sides. It just looks a little funky from the um, from beneath. Right, okay, back at it then. Let's teleport to where we left off and pick up the adventure in the Kindle Wastes. Right, let's jump down here and check on the caravan. There's a VUCA brawler down here, okay. Just um, <laughs> go over here for a second so I can get some power-ups. Yeah, we gotta kill these guys anyway, you know, cause we need the um, the heads to make the fancy head there in the future. So, popcorn, grilled game, roasted corn cob, cave meal tea. Whoops, all food slots occupied, Never mind. Are you like a fancy brawler? Cause you got the luminous cave there. Eh, you stand no chance. Come out here where I can properly fight you. Here we go, going in for the victory. Victory in the mud. Look out, I don't wanna get stuck underneath of him. <laughs> nice. Oh my goodness, look at this. 
Jesmina's Apothesis? Ooh, interesting words that I've never seen before. And this is the fanciest thing I've ever found. Jesmina's Apothesis. Wow, oh my goodness, even the name is cool. Okay, so I think, let's just check on the damage on that. 34 damage. It is a legendary level 16, so it's better than Hail Scourge. Oh my god, we've got to go upgrade this at the base. That, at the very least, is going to replace the Wailing Blade as my secondary. And I think what we're going to do is just... We're going to do that. We're going to go primary with the Axe, secondary with Hail Scourge. Look at that. That's awesome. Wait a minute, though. My shield, the Hero's Shield. Can I not use the shield? All right, let's test out the new weapon here. Oop. I, I blocked, I parried that. Hang on, whoop. I think my shield is, I think it's technically working, like, but it's just not showing maybe? I don't know what's going on here. I'm gonna just like unequip this. Cause now when I block, I actually do the weapon block. Reequip, yeah, I think there's just a, an issue right now where it's just not appearing, but we do have the function. <gasps> it's the bird. Yes, okay. Arrow, oh, they're strong birds, aren't they? Got it, no oh, it's like a big rooster thing. Yep, for raw bird meat, some chicken, and some feather. Yeah, I'm loving this place so far. The color palette is refreshing. Oh, we got a ruin over here we can search. Yeah, this is a scavenger camp, but the scavengers have spiders with them, it appears. Right, okay, so these building materials that we're looking at right here, I think this is shroud wood for the floor, but this like sandstone brick here, we gotta find some of that. What kind of a rock formation is this? It's like a rib cage. It's like a gigantic, like, skeleton. That's a vertebrae right there, a couple of them. And these would be the ribs of like some massive snake or something. Oh, maybe it was like a big sandworm. Ooh, that's kind of terrifying. Yet another VUCA settlement. If there's a brawler here, I'm gonna take him down, otherwise, we're gonna bypass these VUCA camps. Oh my goodness. Oh, what? <laughs> why are there so many here? That's a little crazy. And why did they jump up here to start a fire? Whoop, they're tossing rocks at me. This here could be like a little flame sanctum. We can get a spark out of here. Indeed. See if we get two. We get three this time. Nice. So you get more sparks the further you go along. Oh, here we go. Finally found a little desert settlement over here. Look at those nice doors. Those are beautiful doors. Whoa, rats! Okay, this is a bit of a place of interest here. Oh my goodness, the ground is all hollowed out underneath us and it's just straight shroud down there. Ooh, no thanks. Skeleton place up ahead here. Kinda waiting to see if someday we'll see an undead legendary warrior or boss, you know? Because we've seen the Shroud bosses, we've seen the VUCA bosses, we've seen the Scavenger bosses. Is there going to be a skeleton boss, an undead king or something? Maybe Gormander is an undead guy like these guys. And we gotta fight Gormander someday. Whoop, free water. What about this place here? Fancy place for just this regular old wooden door here. Gotta pick the lock to get in. There we go. The catacombs. All right, give me some light in here so I can see what's going on. Whoop, a trap! Great, I walked right directly into it. Lots of skeleton warriors here. Push buttons. That did it for a gold chest and a new bow. Silver chest here with a silver storm. Ooh, that's an interesting looking wand there. Nice, and it is officially nightfall outside. What we need to do ultimately, I think, is we need to find a tower. Okay, yes, that is our destination up ahead. If we just gotta go through the massive sandworm vertebrae. Look at the view from up here. Has the shroud always been this green? Or is this like new shroud over here? Kind of inclined to jump down there and figure it out. Looks like there's plenty of ambient light. And we gotta head down here anyway because the tower is just over to our right. Okay, yes, yeah, so let's just not fly in all willy-nilly like that. Yeah, okay, this is kind of interesting here. Regular shroud, okay, so it's not gonna kill me instantly. I thought that was a person there. Doesn't that look like a person? I think that probably at some point was a person. 
The Cradle of Dusk. Are you... Ooh. What is that? What the... The fell monstrosity! I found it! Just duck down, okay? I don't know if we're ready for this or not. Oh, boy. Yeah, we can try it? Wow, man. Okay, what's going on in that tower there as well? This is the... We need the head off of this creature in order to further... Uh, upgrade the altar back home. Okay, so this has to happen. I just... We're not in a good situation. The weapons need to be repaired. Alright, well, at least we know that this is here. Right, okay, let's get out of here. We're gonna do the tower then. We're gonna go home, repair up, and we'll come back here and finish that guy off, hopefully. Yeah, look at this. He must have some kind of a special power that turns people into ash. Or, you know dried up mycelial dust, you know? Ah, yes, we've reached the ancient spire in the Nomad Highlands. I thought this was the Kindle Waste. Okay, uh, I'll, I'll start calling it the Highlands then. Okay, we should be in for more or less the same thing that we're always in for in these places. A few puzzles, a little bit of loot, and ultimately a fast travel location at the top. Ooh, check that out. A wolf pack axe. Epic. 40 damage. It uh, must be a two-hander then is that, is that is that safe to assume well the uh the sword there is broken anyway no that's a one-hander doing 40 damage and looking sweet we might be like completely out of the sword era and fully over to the axe era got some pretty good upgrades to get on that one as well and that's doing a clean six extra damage being a level 20 weapon Oh my god, and that was just the first level. All right, on to level two. Okay, level two is a bit of a bore. Level three now, wall of fireballs to get through. Button, turn, button, chest, <coughs> and we're up to, this should be it, I think. It's usually, what is it, three levels generally? Yes, we're done. Commune with the flame. The Nomad Highlands, laced with forgotten promises of adventure and riches, its underbelly is a wasteland, a hunting ground for the condemned. Those below gaze up at the glistening dawn above, tracing the faraway gold streaks of morning light with their fingertips. Enough is always out of reach. Well, that is sad, but it does make sense because we've seen those massive, like like openings where there's like this underground world we'll find out at some point but for now i'm going home i gotta take a nap okay first thing to do at home is to enhance our equipment we have the wolf pack axe and jesmina's apothesis now so we need to fully upgrade these if possible using our runes we're gonna get five upgrades on this axe here we've got brutal which is 20% more critical hit damage. We have 5% life leech. In addition to, I think I have a ring that's like 2%. Fire magic damage, fire magic damage, cutting damage, brilliant. And the wolf pack axe, well, it, this one here looks to be cutting and fire. The wolf pack is cutting and blunt. So we have no piercing attack anymore, which we'll, we'll see how that rolls for a while. And, oh, I can't even fully upgrade that. I need to get some more runes. Luckily, I have chest upon chest full of old gear ripe for scrapping. <laughs> Not to mention the 725 runes that are hanging out in this chest over here. Enhance. That gives it uh, the brutal um, bonus right there. Plus piercing protection and blunt protection. Oh, is this more of like a defensive style of axe? It's doing 46 damage though, wow. I think the wolf pack axe is the new primary and uh, Jesmina's Apothesis is the new secondary. Okay, there is but one more fight for today at the Cradle of Dusk. All right, our enemy should be just over the ridge here. Yes, I can just make him out through the fog. Quite an arena here, the fell monstrosity. What do you say we go for a quick sneak attack into that little blue area there? It's effective. Whoa! He's mad. Okay, yeah, that is the, um, that's how all these little statues were created, I think. All right, we've got to close the distance as soon as I take a brief pause for some food. Okay, we've got a, a lot of spraying, spewing ranged attacks. Just trying to 
get a sense of where the weak point is. Oh, he's got killer bees. And that, and then here's a good chance for our first attack. Okay, get out, get out. And closing in for another attack here. I think we have the right tools for the job, guys. We're gonna be able to do this. Okay, just watch out for the little pits. Don't wanna fall in those, get stuck. Okay, the shield is effective. We have a powerful warrior shield that can defend against whatever that crap is. And... Let's just run. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, I, I was not blocking properly on that one. We've got tons of healing potions, though. Stupid bees! Stupid bees! Power attack! You know, I don't even really think that that attack is worth it. I kind of regret taking that point, because it, it opens you up. You're so vulnerable when you're stuck in that animation. Oh, no, 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 guys. 12, 10, 10 seconds. We're, we're going to be coming shrouded. We've got to leave the area and reset the shroud timer. Oh, my goodness. I think some of those attacks... Oh, with two seconds to spare. I think some of those attacks actually uh, decrease your shroud timer, because that I definitely was not in there for six minutes. I was in there for maybe two. Oh, here he comes. He's just gonna walk out and chase me down. Okay, the shroud timer has been reset. Hopefully, he has not had a chance to heal. Nope. Oops. Oh, oh. hang on. <laughs> Back into the cradle of dusk with the bees. Oh, geez, much less favorable terrain out here. I'll tell you that much. Let's just get in here. Block, block. Didn't help. Oh, I just noticed he's got a, a guy, like a literal person that he is um, <laughs> incorporated into his body. All right, oh, come on. Power through it, power through it. We can do it. Strong warrior. Got it. Yes. God, that's disgusting. Oh, wow, man. Skill point as well. Yeah, see, he's got like arms coming out of him and, and he's got a face underneath him. I can't quite see it from here. What do we get? A, oh, the Black Cauldron. That's what uh, Balthazar wanted. And the fell monstrosity's head, and it looks like an assortment of arms as well. All right, so what I'm gonna do now is probably head back to the base and re-kit a little bit and see what new recipes I've unlocked. Like we've got the new ax to craft and the new bronze pickaxe to craft. So I'll head back there and get reorganized. Thank you very much for joining me on my adventure today as we took down the fell monstrosity, and I will see you hopefully in the next one. Hey everyone, I just wanted to say thank you for watching, for leaving a like, but most of all, thank you to the long list of amazing supporters that you see right here. I hope this episode has earned your subscription, and I can't wait to show you the next one. Best wishes to all, and goodbye.